So you may be having some issues within iOS 18, but for some reason it's not installing properly. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons. The very first thing I'd recommend doing though is that if you do have an iOS 18 device and it supports iOS 18, I probably wouldn't recommend installing it on your main device. Just wait until it officially comes out. But the first thing to keep in mind is that it is a pretty big update. For me, it was about 6.91 gigabytes. So if you're having issues installing it, make sure you have that much storage saved on your particular phone. If you are almost running out of storage, the first thing I'd recommend doing is cleaning out as much storage as you can on your particular phone. So come into here, get into your iPhone storage settings, you can click on the general, scroll down to iPhone storage, and you just want to clear out as much storage as you can. Now, if you do have enough storage, another thing I'd recommend doing is to just make sure that while you're downloading the update, you have a good Wi-Fi connection and cell connection. If your Wi-Fi connection and cell connection are like intermittent, and if they're not going in and out properly, that can also be another problem. So you may just want to go through and make sure that's not a problem either. So just go through, make sure that isn't an issue, and that's another thing you can probably try doing to fix this problem as well. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, another thing I could recommend you to do is to restart your phone. So hold down the buttons you normally would to restart your device, go ahead and slide the power off, give it a few moments, basically power back on, and you wanna see if that ends up fixing the problem too. And like I said before, at this point for a lot of people, that'll probably end up fixing the problem. Now, if your phone is trying to install this update, Another thing you may want to try doing is to just plug your phone in and making sure it has enough battery inside because if your iPhone is about to run out of battery, that's another problem you can run into as well. So make sure your iPhone's you know, plugged in, has enough power and everything. That's another thing you can try fixing to do with this problem as well. So those are the main ways to kind of fix this issue. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.